In this video, we'll go over polar adjustments and other features of the call for fire form. For this scenario, I have a column of M109 Paladins about 3 nautical miles west of the target, and M1974. My observer is to the north about 700 meters away. I'll start the mission. Click on Entity Controls and choose Call for Fire under the 9-line drop-down menu. On the Call for Fire form, click on the binoculars and move your cursor back into the mission area. Find the Soldiers icon and click on it to designate the soldier as an observer in our scenario. Back on the Call for Fire form, click on the Artillery Piece button and choose the M109 to the west. Then click the Target button to select the target coordinates. You can also type a target's location and MGRS coordinates directly into the text box. If, for example, a JTAC trainee is relaying the coordinates to you. When using the mouse to select the target location, you may select a location on the ground or click directly on the entity. For this demonstration, I'm going to choose a location a little west of the M1974. I'm just going to shoot one round, and I will choose red phosphorus. The trajectory will be high for indirect fire. I have the control set to my command. Everything looks good, so I will click on Aim, then Execute, and the round will go downrange. From the observer, I see that the round has hit about 130 mils to the right, but the range is good. Since the target is due south from the observer, I'll put 3190 as the direction on the polar offset and 720 meters as the distance. I'll click Aim, then Execute. The round has hit the M1974. Since we have a good solution, let's fire for effect. I've chosen five rounds per tube. Since we have four M109s, that'll be 20 rounds going downrange. I'll choose seven Romeo as the ammunition and a wide pattern to spread the fire out in case there are any infantry hiding near the tank. Click Execute and then watch the rounds come in. Now for a demonstration of direct fire. I placed another M1974 near the column and barely obscured by the terrain. I'm going to simulate that the tank commander is the observer and choose this M1A1 on the hill as the artillery unit since he has a clear shot. I'll choose the target and shoot. The M1A1 hits the target. If I want to suppress the area, I can choose Suppression down here and execute again. The M1A1 will continuously engage those coordinates for one minute. 